Just welcome back Dr. Ashish Jha, the Dean of the Brown University School of Public Health. Dr. Jha, thanks for joining us again this morning. So we're seeing hospitalizations, deaths, and cases all on a downward slope. Vaccines are ramping up. 27 million Americans have the first dose, 6 million fully vaccinated. Is there reason for optimism now? Hey, good morning, George. Uh, thanks for having me on. Absolutely, there is uh, reason for optimism. All of that that you described is really good news. And if these variants weren't around, I would say I think we're on a glide path towards better. Uh, the thing that unfortunately makes me nervous about the next few weeks, the next couple of months, are these variants. But beyond that, I think we should look at where we are right now as clearly positive news. Are we winning the race against the variants? You know, it's, it's going to be a very close one, right? Because we have to get a lot of people, especially high-risk elderly people, vaccinated before these variants take hold. That's going to happen over the next six, eight weeks, the variants. And that's really our time frame, in my mind, for getting uh, high-risk people vaccinated. We're, we're seeing such hopeful news on the vaccine front as well. This AstraZeneca vaccine in Great Britain preventing transmission. That's significant. It really is, and it's consistent with the data we saw, a uh, little bit of data we saw from Moderna in their in their main trial. We, you know, this is not yet definitive, uh, but it's so clearly suggestive, and that's where I think we'll end up with most vaccines probably preventing transmission as well. So we're also expecting the single-dose Johnson & Johnson vaccine to be online soon, as we've heard. Uh, that's in the 60s in effectiveness, about 66% versus Moderna and Pfizer in the 90s. So help people sort out how they should be thinking about the vaccines if they have a choice. Yeah, you know, the 66% from Johnson Johnson also uh, is partly because they were testing it against the South Africa variant, which the Moderna and Pfizer weren't. But here's the bottom line, George. All of these vaccines have been 100% uh, effective at preventing hospitalizations and deaths. And that's what matters. So I personally think people should feel comfortable taking any of these because the goal is to avoid getting sick. And all these vaccines seem to do that. And, and are you behind this push to get more people this first vaccine, even if it delays some others getting the second? I am. You know, I feel like that's a very reasonable approach. Let's get all elderly people, high risk people, their first shot and then fill in with second shots. Uh, that's what the UK is doing. I think is a pretty reasonable approach. Dr. Jha, thanks again for your time this morning. Thank you. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.